In this video, we'll be discussing the entry point for courses in electrical engineering and we already discussed the ATSAN and certificate level and we are going to continue with the diploma, the higher diploma and the degree level. If you have not subscribed to the channel, kindly do so. Also remember to leave me a comment and like the video. If you know a student who is in high school or a parent who has a child in high school, share the video with them. I believe it's worth taking enough time to gather enough information about the, any career that you want to choose so that you do not end up spending extra years in school or you do not end up paying extra school fees for your child. So let us move on to the diploma level. But before we start the diploma level, don't forget to hit that like button if you have not liked the video. Don't forget to leave a comment before you finish the video. And also if you have not subscribed to the channel, do not forget to subscribe to the channel because there are more videos coming. I'm doing videos on mechanical engineering, civil engineering, and other many engineering and science-based careers. Also as a parent, remember to start advising your child on the careers immediately they join for one. Because I will later show you how expensive it is to educate a child who has scored a D- minus all the way from ASAN to diploma as compared to a student who has scored a C. First of all, the diploma level is supposed to take three years and it uses a system called the module system where the student are supposed to sit for a neck examination at the end of every module. So in the first year, they are mostly supposed to concentrate on electrical installation and uh, by the time they are finishing their first year, they should have gained enough knowledge to enable them to do electrical installation work mostly in domestic because by then they have not done electrical machines. The students are supposed to take all these units and for them to be considered to have successfully finished the first year of study or module 1, they must have either one passed in all subjects or be referred in only one or two subjects. If they fail more than two subjects, they will have been considered to have failed the entire year and they will be forced to repeat all the subjects, including the one they had already passed, which again, have, as I have said, is very expensive for the parent because repeating a whole year, which is three terms, will cost the parent more than 100,000 in terms of the school fees and also the, up, the upkeep. So I think, believe this is a lot of money to waste. Again, losing a whole year is a lot of time to lose, so it's worth being well prepared for the course before you embark on the journey. Now in the second year, that is module 2, there will be mostly, they will be expected to at least have gained some knowledge on electrical power generation and transmission. So in addition to work, in addition to knowledge gain in installation work, they can be expected to work in a situation where there is power generation or power transmission that is in transmission line and generating stations. They also have done considerable work in uh, electrical machines. There is a unit here called circuit analysis as that also prepares them for electrical machine. The requirement to pass in the second year of study are similar to the requirement in the first year of study. Now we move on to the third year of study which is module 3 where the students are mostly prepared for industrial machines and controls. They have done a bit, they will have done a considerable amount of work in electrical machine and also machine control. They also have done power electronics which is also required in uh, also machine control. There is also machine neutralization, machines and neutralization. Also prepares them for work in uh, electrical machines. There's, they will do more work in power distribution and transmission. Mostly here they will be discussing about the high voltage transmission line and also the protection of various equipment that is generator, transformers, motors. Again the requirement for passing the module 3 or the third year of study is similar to those for the other years. After successfully finishing all the years without any failed subject, student can be student will be awarded a diploma certificate in electrical engineering but if the student have failed any subject or have been referred in any subject 
they must receive the subject that they were referred before they can be given a certificate in diploma in electrical engineering. In this course, mostly I teach mathematics. I have taught math engineering, mathematics one previously. I've been teaching engineering, mathematics too. And again, this is another unit that I always teach engineering, mathematics three. And from my experience with the course, it requires a, a bit of preparation. I would say the course is hard, but it requires you to prepare yourself. You know you want to do an engineering course, so why not start preparing from the word go? Watch the video that I made for you on how to prepare for a career in electrical engineering on the link shown here. That is the mathematic topic that you should take very, very seriously. And I always advise, take topics like trigonometry seriously, take calculus seriously, Take EDCs and logarithm seriously, but most importantly, calculus is very important for a course in electrical engineering, either telecommunication, instrumentation control, and power option. When it comes to attachment, is compulsory. You are supposed to proceed for two attachments after the end of the first year and after the end of the second year. And this is the wording system for for neck. I'll leave you to go and do more research about it so that we can be able to finish the video but what i wanted to mention is that similar to the certificate level or similar to the craft level if you fail a subject you are only allowed to recite it for a number of three times and that must happen within a period of five years if you have also not commented on the video remember to leave a comment it really helps so that the video can get to reach as many people as possible so we are saying after the first year there should be an industrial attachment as indicated here which should take a total of 330 hours then after the end of the second year there is another industrial attachment this will really prepare you effectively by the time you are finishing the course you should have considerable skills and experience in electrical engineering so what about the entry level? You can enter the course like from Form 4, whereby you'll be required to have scored a C minus. But this C minus, NEC do not specify about the cluster. They do not talk about what you should score in mathematics or physics. So they leave it open. And that has created a loophole where people have not done physics. And to make the matter worse, they have performed very poorly in mathematics. They end up joining the course and they really struggle a lot. Which I would really want to advise anyone against because I don't think it's worth struggling with the course. I think it's worth preparing for something and then doing it in the easiest way possible. It's worth training hard and fighting easy. Now you can also join the course from a certificate level whereby you will enter the certificate, whereby you will enter the diploma level in second year of study. So somebody who starts from ATSAN level will require one or two years depending on the institution in which they are studying for ATSAN, two years for certificate and another two years for diploma. So you can see it will take them a minimum of five years to be able to finish their diploma and somebody who scores a C- and above will only take three years. So I believe those two extra years they are not worth wasting. Just work hard in high school. Just work hard in high school score a C- minus instead of a D- minus, and it will really save your parents a lot of money. It will also save you an extra two years which you could have spent in school. Again here my syllabus don't look very nice but don't worry about it. It has taken quite a number of years for it to be reviewed and this program is, this course is still uses the TEP program we say the TEP program is whereby you stay in school for your entire duration and you do the exam after the entire duration. So for higher diploma, it usually takes two years. You stay in the school for the whole two years, you do a neck exam after the end of the two years. You reject the higher diploma after finishing the diploma. And the diploma and the higher diploma only has two years. 
the first year and these are the subjects that you do in the first year you can go through them later and uh, see which one is which this is all the second year of study in the second year of study that's where you people specialize those who want to do electrical engineering power option they will take these subjects for the power option those who want to specialize in electronics uh, they will take these subjects digital electronics and industrial electronics those who want to specialize in telecommunications they will take digital electronic and communication systems and still there is another option called power and electronics option rather by they will take industrial electronics and machine utilization I will leave you to go and read about the entry to the course but after finishing your diploma that's when you join the course first of all I must clarify there are two degree courses there is Bachelor of Technology in either Electrical Engineering or the other option we discussed this is a Bachelor of Science in Electrical and Electronic Engineering or other subfield that we discussed so depending on which one you want to do you will join at different levels for a person who is coming direct from high school Bachelor of Technology degree will take them a total of four years and those who have higher diploma will join in the third year of study while they will do third year and fourth year those who have diploma they will join in their second year of study so it will take them an extra three years for the Bachelor of Science degree those who are coming direct from high school it will take them a total of five years but those who have higher diploma they will join in the third year of study and those with diploma will join either in the first or second year of study depending on the score in the diploma level but personally i believe these are ideas that need to be streamlined so that those who have done diploma do not have to take more years for the degree course thank you for being with me to the end of this video if you know a student who is in high school or a parent who has a child in high school share the video with them i believe it's worth taking enough time to gather enough information about the, any career that you want to choose so that you do not end up spending extra years in school or you do not end up paying extra school fees for your child if you have not made a comment do not forget to leave me a comment on the video because your comment go a long way in assisting the video to reach other people i believe i have not wasted your time in this video and certainly i'm not going to waste it in the next video so join me in the next video where we'll be discussing the topic that should be taken very seriously in high school if you want to do a course in mechanical engineering.